Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Scrotitis Plays Minecraft. So, uh, what we've got going on is uh, we are cooking up some stone. I know that is very exciting to many people. <laughs> no, we're not going to sit and watch it cook for the whole episode. We've got uh, two things in mind here uh, on the... Uh, on the multiplayer server we want to take care of. We obviously, we've cleaned up our previous creeper explosion. That pissed me off, something bad. Um, we still have some renovating to do. Obviously that building hasn't been fixed on, from a creeper explosion. But uh, what I've got in mind for today's episode is actually twofold. We want to uh, work on our branch mine some, and we also need to get some reeds and maybe even put up a minor reed farm because we want to get a um, enchanting table under construction. So also along with an enchanting table goes, uh, huh, I wonder if they're spawning on top of this. That could be, huh? Maybe on top of here. Let's see what my parkour skills are. No, no. Okay. We need to work on our parkour skills a little bit. That's a big jump. I don't know if anybody can make that jump. Well, somebody might be able to, but. Hey, oh. uh, anything over there? I'm just wondering where those sons of guns are spawning at. There. And one more. That looks pretty far. Maybe I should jump from there. Let's do this. And yo. Oh, dang. They just don't want us to do it, do they? All right. So anyway, sorry. Uh, two goals for today are going to be to uh, find some reeds out there in the, in the great wide open and, and start a small reed farm. And then also um, get together our... Um, Our branch mine and start uh, start actively getting um, diamonds because that's our main goal here is to uh, get us some diamonds so we can make an enchanting table and then along with that we will continue renovating our home which I don't know if we got a good shot of it last time guys but oh, there that is looks pretty cool uh, let me show you the inside real quick. Give you a quick tour. Got a door here, obviously. Uh, we supplemented some dark wood with the uh, sandstone. We've got a beveled uh, ceiling. Got a ladder going up, and that's what we're going to continue our renovations on. But we've got a wraparound window. We've got a big old chest here. A stove, crafting bench, and then this cool water wall. I think it's cool anyway. And this is going to be my bedroom once I get wool. Bed's going to go there. Separation of the two rooms. Work and play, you know, that kind of stuff. Want to keep them separate. And then up here, um, we're going to square off this and get rid of the uh, the slant. We're going to make it look real modern. And oh, there we got, found reeds right there. Good scouting done from up here as well. But then uh, this is going to be our enchanting room for the time being right back here. And I think we're just going to leave this as a open porch area, kind of just to look over our people and our, our crops and say, how you doing, everybody? Um yeah, so we've got we've got some good plans here, and I like what's going on. So let's get to uh, you know what? It's getting kind of dark, but let's live on the edge here. I don't want them spawning on my roof. Uh, and let's get down there after the. Let's go grab those reeds before it gets too dark. What do you say? Oh, ow. Okay. Now I don't want to light anything up outside of the walls for the simple fact of. Whenever I do want to go out and get some experience and find some infected zombies or infected villagers, sorry, infected villagers or any of that cool stuff, I don't want to have to go far for it. That's what our wall's for. I mean, that's why we're lighting inside, and that's what the wall's for, is to keep out those bad guys, which also adds a kind of cool dimension of, ooh, swamp. You know it's in swamps, guys. Witches. I wonder if we can find one. Is this Swamp 2? This looks like Swamp 2. Anyway, let's grab this real quick. Okay, we got our reeds. Got more reeds over here. Let's investigate this swamp first. One, two. Is that just three? One, two. Yeah. 
That was just a... Alright, anyway. Sorry. Getting off track. Finding all this cool stuff that I keep getting off track. Alright, so here's a swamp. Which towers? Hold on a second, guys. Let me, uh... Nah, that should help. Give me your wool! Give me your wool! Ah, one more. Where there's two, there's usually three. Give me your wool! Alright. <laughs> so, we got that, and... You know what? We're gonna take care of... There's tons of these guys. So, let's, uh... Let's get some of their black uh, ink. Oh, you know what else we need to do? We need to uh, get a cow farm so we have a ready source of uh, leather so that we can have dyed clothing. That's another cool add-on that they did that uh, I haven't got a chance to mess around with. And there's a skeleton, but that's not a witch. Look at the size of the slime. Surface slime. And zombie. Not as exciting. The zombie, that is. Surface slime, very exciting, though. Whoa! Big ones pack a punch, too. Oh, there's another one over there. Look at that. Come on. Give me your slime balls. And a lovely tone telling us that we've hit a multiple of five level. That's <laughs> kind of odd, I think, but... Not sure how I like the uh, slime on the surface thing. Uh, it's obviously going to make things incredibly easier in finding um, slime and getting slime balls for our sticky pistons. But that's the part that I'm not sure that I like. Uh, it was always sort of a point, at least in my mind, a point of accomplishment whenever... <laughs> Look at this guy. Let me help you out? I'll help you out. You're stuck. You can't jump because you're in the water. I'll help you out. There you go. You're helped. And you can't jump either, huh? All right, you're helped. And you're helped, and you're helped, and you're helped. And you're helped, and I'm going to drown a quick breath. And we got to help these guys out, too, because they're all going to die. Some clay down there. It's good to know. Mental note, clay. Holy cow, there are slime everywhere. This isn't even challenging. I mean, I didn't think it would be, but still. Holy cow. They're everywhere. My iron sword is almost gone. So anyway, witch's tower, witch's tower. Have we seen or do we see a witch's tower? This is a really big uh, swamp. I think they're in swamps, aren't they guys? You know, this probably wasn't the smartest idea, adventuring out at night. Oh, tree pig. Take a picture. Love tree pigs. All right, let's get out of here. We may have bitten off a little bit more than we should. Uh-oh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. All right. F off. Ah! Ah! Shit. Shoot. I meant shoot. Edit that. <laughs> run, run, run. Alright, we're heading back home, guys. There are too many bad guys out. Anyway, we came out. We got our reeds. That's what we really wanted to do. Uh, maybe in the daylight we'll come and see if we can find a witch. Uh, pretty sure that it's, um, that it's swamps that they're in. Might have to do a little bit more research, but... <coughs> All right, I think we outran them. Dang. <laughs> I should probably leave some of these reeds. You're not going to have a need for a reed farm because I've found enough out here in the wild. All right, so back to base. Where where's base? Hmm. Ah, this way. There it is. 
I knew we were within eye shot because we saw the reeds, so couldn't be that far. How much? Oh, what the? You son of a... Did I not get that? I thought I got ink. Did we not get it before? Oh, okay, we have nine. All right. All right, so back to base. Ooh, this guy's got a sword. Ooh, and there's a whole bunch of skeletons over there. Um, there's all sorts of bad guys. You know why? Because they see that village and they want those villagers. How come his sword looks special? Drop a sword. Da. All right. I'm making a break for it. Arrows whizzing past our heads. It, he makes it! Ha <laughs> ha, suckers! I don't think they can get in there. Right? Mobs can't jump two blocks, can they? No. You know what I'd like to do is implement the uh, old trick... I don't know if it'll work since the mob AI has, has evolved so much, but I used to be able to make bases that had um, murder holes in them. And I'd like to do that around the village just, uh, you know, periodically. Nothing nothing too overwhelming, but different murder holes that had lava and uh, or just ones that I could sneak down and stab them in the legs like I used to do. That was that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Vindictive, I know. Um, so yeah, our iron from explore. Oh, yep, it's done. So that's a lot of experience we're getting. Oh shoot! You know what we never lit up was the uh, blacksmith. I wonder if there's anybody in here. No. Okay, good. Uh, I thought we had. A, we don't have a crafting table in here. Anybody have a crafting table? I need a crafting table. You don't know. We need to get some more doors on here so we get more villagers too. That initial onslaught where they broke the doors has left a bunch of these unoccupied. So we want some more villagers. All right. I'll just go use mine then. Is anybody in this house? Hello? Anybody? Home? This would be a nice one for some of the guys on the server to take right next door. He's got some stone slab, little table, little, little hey, how you doing? But uh, as you see, we're all alone again on the server, so no big surprise there. I promise I do have other people playing this server. <laughs> there are other people on it, and uh, just so you guys do know, this is a whitelisted server, so you're not going to be able to find it and jump on. Um, oh, look at that. I c only got two pieces of wool from killing those sheep. Dang it! Oh, that stinks. I can't make a bed with two, piece of, two pieces of wool now, can I? Oh, well. All right, so here's our paper. No. Here's our paper. Three pieces of paper. Uh, Alright. Nine pieces of paper and we'll leave some sugar cane. Sugar cane? I thought it was reeds. Anyway. We'll leave that for our book. I believe you need leather to make a book now. It used to just be that. Yeah, no, no. You need leather now. So that'll be another venture out to get um, to get some leather. All right, so that's going to be for our uh, branch is uh, what the bricks are for. Got some good plans, some cool plans for that I'm excited about. Uh, what else? We're going to need more wood. Some chest for down there. At least one will do for now. Maybe a furnace. Eh, we probably don't want to smell anything. Alright, let's get armor. So the next time we run into those fools, they don't think they have something on top of us. We got legs already, so we just need a chest head. And I am forgetting that we can shift click because in Tech It you can't. 
armor up. Come get some. Now they're not going to be so quick to mess with us. Actually, you know what? Let's go smelt the rest of this while we're uh, working on our mine. I wonder if one of those slimes followed me all the way back. Is that what that... That's got to be what that noise is, right? Look at that! Persistent guy! Huh! Alright, I will come down and kill all of you. Alright? There. You happy? Came all this way to die. I could have killed you over there if you wanted to die that bad. You just should have let me know. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. We got our reeds, and we got our... Uh, mm, no, what would we come in here for? Drop these off. Let's go cook up our iron and head down to the branch mine. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys, and I'll meet you down there. All right, guys, so here we are. We're down at the base of our ladder, all the way down at level 12. So this is what I usually build my branch mines at, and we've already started building just this structure around it. What I want to do first is give us that safe water splashdown zone that is pretty popular with these builds. So first things first, let's... um. I actually want to put the water here, so I'm going to put the signs down at this level here and there. So that's going to be... Uh, let's do this. That. We like that? Yeah, I like that. And then if we put water there, what happens? Perfect. All right, now we need to find some more water. <laughs> so I'm going to go grab more water and be back. All right, guys. So water drop test number one. Ooh. Let's hope it works. And it did. Perfect. All right. I mean, I got caught on the ladder um, up by that one level, and I think I'm going to do that again at, at the next level, but uh, a little bit unconventional. You don't see a lot like this, and that's why I kind of went that way. Uh, I wanted to do something something a little bit different. Oh, a little different. Something you don't see all the time. Uh, oh, son of a gun. I'm going to waste these. I don't have tons of them yet. Oh, I wasted that one anyway. All right, so here's the build. Here's the design so far. Now, kind of dumb putting a crafting bench there because i got to hold my breath to go use it. But <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to stick We're gonna stick with it. We're going to put this here. Let's see if we can get this right there. Perfect, perfect. And now we're probably going to put a doorway here. We might even do double doors. We'll probably do double doors. Okay. Let's, uh... Should we put these in now, too? Let's see what these look like. You know what, actually, let's put them up there. I, c I want this to look bigger and, and more grand than what... It's one thing I want to focus on is my uh, scale of my builds. It seems like I'm not able to ever really get that grand scale that you see in a lot of a lot of these uh, Let's Play series. And I really want to achieve that with this series. So that, I think that works. What do you guys think? Um, here, let's go up with our door frame. Okay. That there. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty cool. Let's get some half slabs. 
made up here. And we're getting low on these bricks already, I know. Um, but... Oh, this looks awesome. I love it. Oh, oh, watch out for the water. I love it. And, uh, perfect. Okay. So, let's keep digging. Uh, and once I clear out a bunch more, I'll stop back in and give you guys a progress report.